Okay, let's talk about math. EMI, the Exeter Math Institute, is a, a space where we can bring teachers together and to think about our teaching and our practice. The Exeter Math Institute began in 1992 and we realized that we could share practices with teachers. And so the first institute was actually on this campus and we realized it was really more beneficial we could reach more teachers if we brought it out across the nation. And so our, our mission really is to provide time and space for teachers to, to come together and think about mathematics and teaching. There are two things about the Phillips Exeter Math Department that uh, distinguish it in many ways from other math departments and that is the problem-based curriculum uh, that is developed by your teachers and also the Harkness method of teaching in which students sit around a table, um, typically 12 students, and discuss the problems rather than having a teacher up front leading a lecture. So the materials that our department uses were developed by our faculty in the mid-1990s. Since then, it's expanded from one particular course to all of our math courses. We always want to be updating our materials because we want them to be current. We have an editing group that meets of a, a number of faculty members who get together every summer and, and do updates. Depending upon the school and the school district, it can, it can really vary in terms of how uh, teachers implement a problem-based curriculum into their classrooms. After going through the workshop, my first thoughts were, I want this for my students in my classroom. And uh, the reason for that is because it promotes student engagement. It moves away from traditional lectures to having students collaborate with their peers, exploring uh, and discovering concepts on their own. And I believe that that uh, really helps them understand the math better and just to de develop those problem solving skills. My experience in the workshop, I can't describe it. It was so amazing. Watching the teachers engage in the mathematics when they were like working through lunch, not getting up. They were totally engaged, out of their seats, on the whiteboards, were challenging each other's um, thinking, um, doing multiple strategies. It was just, it was real awesome for me. I just, cause I love math. So just seeing that was heartwarming. What we experienced was the opportunity to work with teachers throughout our district and working on math. A lot of our summer training deals with a combination of math and pedagogy, but just to really just dive into working concepts that are typically hard for us to, to teach the students. So it gave us a great opportunity to dive in it, get a different view of the math, and then figure out how we want to implement that in our schools. When I learned math, it was step one, step two, step three, step four. And so Exeter has been ahead of the game with the shift in allowing students to find those different avenues to go down any pathway to justify the answers or come back and rethink it. And now that I've had this, let's add a little bit more to extend our thinking. I've been in classrooms where I just kind of felt as if there's just a need to just finish the, what we're doing, go on to the next subject, move along, go to the next unit, while in a Harkness classroom, that organization isn't really there as much, and it's much more about understanding how a problem works. Because of, I guess, the collaborative sense of the classroom, you feel much more open to ask questions because it, it feels like you're among friends, not, you know, just kind of looking at one teacher across the classroom that's gonna, you know, tell you, oh, this is what it is. I guess when you have other people around, you kind of share, oh, you know, I made this mistake as well, I knew this. So. For me personally, I find it really helpful. Um, just because I like to learn with other students. I think I do uh, better in my classes when I talk with students rather than just um, sit by myself or hear a lecture, just because I think I'm a very like, auditory learner. And so by hearing other people's opinions, um, I think I can learn like a deeper understanding and also apply it to the world. Uh, just because we have like these word problems instead of just uh, solving a whole sheet of problems, I think I can apply it more to my life later on and also just see how math shows up in the world around me. Mathematics education is essential because it is at its basis uh, about making logical arguments, reasoning, and, and then when the way we do it, we add in collaboration and uh, problem solving, and I think that is just essential to human beings. I guess as I, I think of our future, I, I think that we will be developing 
leaders who need to be able to adapt the careers that our students right now will be moving into. We have no idea what they are. They probably haven't even been created yet. And so we need to develop students who are able to think critically about problems, who are able to think about problems from different perspectives, who are able to be creative and think out of the box. And so I think that's a, that should be our goal in mathematics education.